puppies. Yeah. Cool. Don't have several. <laughs> Short title. This belong in the constitutional amendment. No, this wasn't written during Worldcon at all. We've got multiple things happening here. It's written in Pekingese. Okay. You take your seats, please. Luckily, I don't think a short title is going to get into any. Meeting will come to order. It should be constitutional men, but long to us. Good morning. Uh, this is the site selection business meeting where site selection business is the main order of the day. I would, however, like first to call up our one remaining uh, committee to give their report, the Worldcon Runner's Guide Editorial Committee, because I believe Mike is here and uh, has to depart fairly shortly. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My name is Mike Wilmoth. I'm the uh, uh, head of the committee for the Worldcon Runner's Guide. Uh, I've already submitted a report that you may have seen, but okay. um, the, uh, the incremental progress that we've made continues to be made. We have a online URL from wisfus.org that you can now go to see what we've uploaded. And uh, I've submitted that to the business meeting, but I'll, I'll read that off to you for anybody who wants to take a note. And um, <clears throat> we've uploaded the backup that we created before the catastrophic crash reference last year. And the team is working on updating the individual pages. So now that Worldcon is approaching the end, we'll be getting back to doing that. All right, thank you, Mike. Do you wish to continue the committee as currently constituted for next year? Yes, please. Uh, www.wisfus.org slash committees slash worldcon hyphen runners hyphen guide. Anybody has any questions, you can contact me about that. I'm on staff here, easy to reach. All right, are there any questions here for Mike? Is there any objection to continuing the committee as currently constituted for another year? Seeing none, so ordered. Thank you. All right. As I said, this is the site selection business meeting. I would like to call up the tellers for the 2019 NASFIC election first, please. Let me get here. <laughs> I'm Warren Buff, Site Selection Administrator. I do have the results for the 2019 NASFIC Site Selection. We had 192 total ballots cast in the NASFIC Site Selection, of which 182 expressed a preference. There were seven for none of the above. One for Christmas in Boston 2020. <laughs> One for Olive Country. One for Minneapolis in 73, one for Bristol, and 171 for Utah. As 92 were needed to elect, Utah is the winner. I call on the winning bidders to come up and make a presentation. Would you like a microphone run to you? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah. That's absolutely fine. Let me bring you a mic. Did you get the email slides? She's asking slides. if we got the email slides. We didn't get slides, I don't think. Or, okay. Unless Don got some. Donald? I don't know. He's looking. 
Thank My you. last mail was at 102. Can you hold that for a second? Who would you have gotten slides from? I don't know. Did you have some Kate, who, Kate, who would have sent the email with the slides? I sent it to Warren. Uh, I don't have an email for him. He doesn't have okay. an Oops. We have PR0. We will wing it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'm Kate Hatcher. I'm the chair. Uh, WesterCon 72, 1632 Minicon, and now Utah for 2019, NASFIC. And I'm sitting down, but I will still talk to you. I want to thank everybody because we've had a committee of over 35, 40 people putting effort into this to combine this into one event. It is the 150th anniversary of the Transcontinental Railroad next year and the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing. Since the Golden Spike Museum is less than an hour away, we decided we're going to snag as many conventions as we can into one big party next year in Layton, Utah. Oh, Our dates are July 4th through 7th, which is the traditional WesterCon dates. And Layton is 26 miles north of Salt Lake City. And there are many accessible options we have on websites and at our table. We have WesterCon guests already, including Jim Butcher, Vincent Villafranca, Katie Krell, Kevin Stanley, Lisa Hayes, and Kuma Bear, and Eric Flint. Four. Five. and Tim Motoshaw, a gaming GM from British Columbia. For the NASFIT guests of honor, we have Laurel K. Hamilton, who has been writing urban fantasy for 25, almost 30 years. She's considered one of the pioneers of the paranormal fiction. And we also have David Weber, who has been writing science fiction for 30 years. We decided they're both about that 30 year mark. They're both amazing in their subgenres, and we couldn't pick one or the other, so we got both. <laughs> David Weber is sponsored by Charles and Teeny Fisher. We also have Susan Chang, who is a senior editor of Tortine. She is sponsored by Tortine, so we can represent the YA sector. We are keeping Vincent Villafranca and elevating him to an overall artist guest of honor. He has done so much for Wisfus and the Hugos and all of his sculptures are brilliant. And he is sponsored by Alamo out of Texas. We also have a gentleman by the name of Dragon Drone who does martial arts and blacksmithing and he does props for Hollywood, including working on most Star Trek and Star Wars for the last 10 years. And since we have all of these guests, which is very a big herd of cats, we decided we need to tag team our master and mistress of ceremonies, which are Bijo and John Trimble. They're going to bring their art and their schnaz, and they said they could hurt them if I can't. <laughs> we, are pass we are passing out PR. It's labeled 1.1 because we've been doing progress reports as WesterCon until now. And we have a fuller progress report that you can put this little piece in at our table, which we will be moving to site selection after the vote, or after, after I get out of here in one piece. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I completely spaced and my apologies because when I asked Kevin Stanley to be the WesterCon guest of honor, he says, I've already been in NASVIC. You need a NASVIC guest of honor for a fan. And I said, there's only one person I could think of and that is Linda Denneroff. She's not only been one of the hardest working people in the business meetings that I've noticed for the 